Yesterday I ended up with Shylock explaining to the Duke that if his house was troubled with a rat and if he pays 10,000 ducats to get rid of that rat, it's his business. It's his reason for his life. So here <coughs> he's trying to justify to the Duke that there are certain people who do not like a roasted pig to be sliced or with his mouth wide open. The other one is some people cannot tolerate the presence of a cat. And there are some who are they get irritated when they hear the high shrill notes of a bag pipe. Okay. Now he says it is they like or dislike. Now some people like it, some people they don't like it. And what is the answer to that? It is their own whims and fancies. Now you cannot force a person to like something which he dislikes. Like you cannot force him that to be happy with a roasted pig sliced and his mouth wide open. Now cats are harmless creatures, but some people are, they don't like, they don't feel comfortable. So they detest a cat being in the house. But you cannot force them. You cannot play with their emotions. Now, on the other reason, where the high shrill notes of a backpack, okay, you cannot force anybody to like something because you like it. And if there are any other adjustment made, suppose just to please another person, you may make some adjustment or you may compromise. For whom will you compromise? You will compromise only with those people whom you love. Now everyone has got his own whims and fancies. You cannot pounce upon a person to like something which you like and he dislikes. Okay. He says now in the case of Antony. He says, he is fighting a very weak case. And I cannot change my opinion where Antonio is concerned. He says, I hate this person. So on no ground you expect me to pardon him. Now that carrying flesh is of no use to me. I am also aware of it. But it's my will to fancy. I like that carrying flesh and I will have it. You cannot force that. Okay. Now my emotions and feelings is totally against and don't you. So on no grounds you can force me to show some love and affection towards this man. So now I hope I have given you a satisfactory answer to what was your underlying motive. Your underlying motive was that I should pardon Antonio, but now I am telling you very straight that this man I detest, I abhor him. I hate him. So don't expect me that I should take a liking to him or start loving him and neither am I going to forgive him. Now on hearing this, the way Shylock had answered the Duke, Basadio was quite offended. He said, this is no answer thou unfeeling man to excuse the
turning from thy truth. He said, There is no need. Okay, this is no way to answer the Duke and to express your hatred towards Antonio. You are only showing how much you hate him and how angry you are with him. Okay. And the cruel action which you are now going to give in the form of extracting the pound of flesh. Shylock, I am not bound to please thee with my answer. He said, now let me tell you one thing. I am not forced, I am not compelled to answer your question. I am answerable to the court. And again, Basadio asked the question. Do all men kill the things they do not love? You think, is it necessary that everyone must kill something which they do not love? So, Antonio or Shalok also says, hates any man the thing he wants to do. Okay. He says, now nobody kills anything if he is in love. If he loves something, he will not harm it. It's only hate that encourages a person to kill. So <clears throat> now Shylock knows that Bassanio is a very dear friend of Antonio. Now he is trying to intervene and try to draw the attention of the people in the court that see this man, how much hatred he has towards Antonio. So I shall keep it till here. Then further on, we shall proceed with the argument in this court case. Okay. So tomorrow I shall proceed. Thank you.